Well, things set up right tonight. Looks like we could have a nice display of the aurora across much of the northern U.S., including in Wyoming. Colleagues down the Space Weather Prediction Center, they've issued the geomagnetic storm watch. The G3 intensity, that's pretty good. They only go up to G4 for the watches. Cordial mass injection, we talked about these before. Just an air emission of plasma off the surface of the sun, heading toward the uh, Earth. And when it interacts with our upper levels of the atmosphere, usually the ionosphere, we have some charged particles. It bends the magnetic field of the Earth, and the interaction is what produces the uh, colors of the aurora. Now, uh, how intense is it going to be? KP index measures that. You can see uh, highest KP index. This it looks like an early event, at least at this point. Make sure you check their website to get uh, further updates on this, because space weather is rather fickle. Every for a while when it gets dark, it's about 8, 8.30 this time of year, to about midnight looks like the best time to view it, then decreasing chances through the uh, overnight hours. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is about what the uh, view line looks for a G7 storm. You can see northern half of the U.S., basically Oregon, through most of Wyoming, and over here toward the uh, southern Great Lakes states, enough toward New England, but it does tend to extend a little bit further south. If you're in a dark place, you should be able to see it better, obviously. So what do these look like, at least from our office in Riverton? This is the G1 storm we had back in October of last year. You can see mainly on the horizon, has some of the yellows down here, also some uh, reds, but mainly down toward the horizon. G2 starts coming up a little bit higher, better display of reds here behind our radar. Put this up to G3, sending much higher to the atmosphere. This is a really nice display we had there. You can see nice definition of the aurora down here across the horizon with the blue, with the uh, greens, I should say. And then the reds are sending much higher up. Now, if it gets a little better than I think it's going to be, we have a G4 storm across the area, KP index of 8. Colors are much more defined. You can see some beautiful uh, purple colors here. Also, some uh, green colors down here across the horizon. And you want to know how to view it? I've talked about this before. Just a quick review. Dark place, obviously, that's where you want to go. In Wyoming, just go a few miles outside of town. You should have no problem seeing that. Allow your eyes to adjust the darkness. Could take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. It looks to the north, northeast, close to the horizon. It should appear off to the north, anywhere it's staying within about 30 or 40 degrees of that, unless it's a historic display. And uh, it should appear as a green glow, glow on the horizon to the naked eye. You want to see it better, though, look at it through a cell phone, put it in night mode, or if you have a standalone camera, DSLR, or a mirrorless camera, just turn the exposure and the ISO up a little bit, and you should be able to see it pretty clearly. Now, if you want to take pictures of it, especially if you have a standalone camera, Make sure you have something where you can stabilize that camera, otherwise the pictures will be blurry. A tripod's obviously best, but if you don't have that around, if you drive out somewhere, you can always put it on the hood of your car. It should hold it stable enough where you can take a nice picture. So hopefully tonight, if things sit upright, one of the best displays in the night sky is possible.